Welcome back to another episode of Drink Tales. And today, we are once again taking a look at the 1970s. You guys know how we usually do this. Whenever we find something new and interesting, usually in the first episode, we take an initial look, we give it a taste, we, you know, give it a quick rundown. And then in the second episode, we try to see if we can make a unique, brand new cocktail out of it. And today isn't any different. But what is different is the challenge level. Because according to the 1970s, there's 1,970 different combinations of cocktails, right? Is that what we ran? And that's what I have been told. Okay, by the resources on the internet. All right, so we're gonna have to match that or at least come up with 1,971. So what do you got for us? Ooh, we're just gonna do stuff. Okay. <laughs> and whatever you guys make of it, that's on you. Mm -hmm. um, I'm gonna start off, we're gonna fill our best of what I, I looked at some stuff, some mm -hmm. recipes, mm -hmm. and got inspiration from them. Mm -hmm. And this is what I more or less came up with. Mm -hmm. Oh, let's do it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is gonna be a brandy drink. Oh, wow. Okay. So that's what we're doing. An ounce of brandy or a cognac as the more sophisticated individuals that watch our videos would like to call this. And we're using Kobasi. Mm -hmm. Because you should apparently pass that to your friend and family. Mm -hmm. Yes. Personally, I'd rather you pass me any alcohol. Next, we're gonna do an ounce of 1970. Mm -hmm. Last but not least, we are going to go with this is control, right? Yes. Okay. I just want to make sure that I was looking at Half ounce of contro. You know what? Because I'm feeling myself. Let's do a dash of orange bitters. Okay. Orange bitters. I want to pump up that orange. Mm -hmm. Fill it into it. And then give it a stir. So I don't know if anybody noticed this or not, but I'm basing this cocktail. My biggest inspiration for this cocktail were cocktails like the Rusty Nail, but specifically the not the Godfather, although that was one of the cocktails. But the primary cocktail is the French Connection. Okay. It's just that I added a few more things to it, and I wanted to inspire like the 1970s. Okay. Now, usually this. The, what's it called? The French Connection doesn't have a garnish. Mm -hmm. But if you would like, we can use an orange peel. I'm gonna use an orange peel for the sake of doing stuff. So. Mm -hmm. Or an orange. Yes, an orange peel. Not an orange slice, an orange peel. Although, a slice would be nice. It would. I think if I want. If I'm being honest with you, mm -hmm. I know in our last episode you were like, you're feeling orange notes with this. Mm -hmm. And I would say you weren't 100% wrong with that. I think if this particular spirit had a signature fruit, as it were, I could be wrong. I think the orange would be that signature fruit. Okay. But 
I don't know all of the ingredients that go in here. Mm -hmm. There are apparently 19 of them. I say apparently, but that's the actual origin of them. I want to make this look as nice as possible. to drink without being orangey. Mm -hmm. I like that. Um, I can definitely taste the 1970. Cavassier is in here too. That's very good. Um, the Contro is there, but it's not overwhelming. And the orange peel I can, those oils, they make themselves known before you actually start drinking, which is what you want. You want that essence to hit you right before you drink. It kind of sets you, it, it sets it up. It sets up what your drink's gonna be like. with you no matter what you would have made I would have said call it the 1971 yeah, no, that's the problem no it's not the problem <laughs> we set out to make the 1971st drink using this liqueur why not call it that <laughs> so lazy. Golden Tiger. Well, you guys can make a decision on that. We'll leave it up to you. Would you rather call it the 1971 or the Golden Tiger? Because there is a gold tiger on the bottom. Okay. And you don't think one of the other drinks that, that have already been invented explicitly have that name? Because, <laughs> because there's a Golden Tiger on I mean, it. If you look at this and then you look at the drink, it kind of has the same sheen as. The, the tiger on the bottom. Of course it is. All of the liquors that you use are the same color. <laughs> I didn't do that, and I and I didn't do that knowing that that would be that that would happen. Well, Whatever. you guys can decide. You know, you can have my name, or you can whatever it is that he wants. Yeah. The the, the superior name, or the crap he came up with at the last minute. 
That'll do it for this episode of Drink Tales. Be sure to like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you're notified of all content that's coming to the channel. Also, check us out on Instagram and check us out on Twitter. And also, we've been saying this for a while. We're going to keep saying it. What have we been saying? If there is a liqueur, spirit, some type of food-based product, beer, or wine, or just something really neat that you guys want to show us, let us know what it is. Hit us up in our DMs, and you know, even if you can send it to us, that would be a great option for you guys to do. Also, we go places. So, if there are places that you think we should go that have beer, wine, obscure foods, obscure liquors, or anything interesting, let us know so that we can go and see this stuff and eat and drink this stuff. Mm -hmm. um, we have a milestone coming up. Well, the next episode will be a 100th episode if you've been following us on YouTube. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you guys should probably go to YouTube mm -hmm. as well as our Instagram. And you know what? While you're there, you can go to our Twitter too. But we're going to hit 100 episodes. That will be not, that will be the next episode. Right. So, you know, we don't know what we have planned. Just be on the lookout. Right. But maybe, maybe we, maybe this won't be involved. We'll see. Well, that'll do it for this episode, everybody. And until next time, peace.